Oh my god, hey. Hello, Stagey fam. We are flying to Amsterdam to go and see the UK tour of the musical Six. That is our plane over there. And here we are in Amsterdam. The Delamar Theatre where Six is playing and it is sold out. We're at the Crown Jewels Official Six merchandise stand and boy is there a lot of stuff. Let me show you the prices first of all to give you an overview of what they have here. I feel like I need some Six socks in my life. Snack boxes that you can get presumably like pre-show dining I guess. This is the stalls area and then we have one circle level up there. Can't quite tell how many rows. Are you excited Aaron James? Yeah. I'm very excited to see the tall screen. But thank you so much for watching this special travel vlog. I don't think there was anything else I was meant to tell you. Oh wait, did I not? Hold on. Did I forget to mention the other thing? You know what, we might have to go back to the beginning of this video because I feel like there's something I haven't been telling you. Okay, so we're here in the airport and we just told you that we are flying to Amsterdam to go see Six, which is true, but there's also something that we haven't told you because that's not really everything that we're doing today. We are going to Amsterdam just to see Six and then we are immediately leaving the country, getting back on a plane to see Six. Are you confused? Let me explain. So the idea is, we are going to try and do a stagey challenge and find out if it's possible to do a two-show day over two different countries. Not only that, but seeing the same show in two different countries yeah. in one day. That's what we're trying to do. So we're going to try and go and see the matinee performance at two o'clock in the afternoon of six in Amsterdam and then make it back to London to see the seven o'clock performance at the Vaudeville. It works because of the time difference of one hour, so we go back in time when we fly back. Yeah, like it's feasible. We wouldn't have planned this if it wasn't doable, but it's, it's tight. pretty down to the wire. And with air travel and with traffic and even with shows, so many things can go wrong. So you're going to come with us and you're going to find out if it's doable. Can we see six in two countries in one day? We're getting ready to board the flight. Yeah. Uh, we're filming these two videos in tandem and we're already finding it hard not divulging the real reason we're traveling on the other one. It's difficult because most of this is it's spent thinking about the return more yeah. than the getting there because yeah. the getting there, like, it's quite calm because it's, we know the times, we know we're going to get there, it's quite relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to hide our nervousness <laughs> in the other video. You already said on the other one, we're only gonna be there for a little amount of time. Yeah. And in my brain, I'm like, if you only knew. <laughs> and we're getting on the plane. Plane number one. Current time is 7.51 UK time. It begins. So our flight took off about 10 minutes ago. Current time is 8.28. Um, the flight actually took off a little bit early, which is always good. Bodes well for the weather being good today, but we don't really need extra time in this one. We're kind of hoping we get that same energy with the flight later on, because that one is the stressful one. Aaron James conserving energy for today's activities. He's a sleepy sloth. We're already landing. That was really quick. It's a really short flight, which is... I did like two songs from Diana the Musical, but that's a big part of why today is feasible because it's such a short flight. So the plane has just landed, it's uh, just coming up to 9.12 and we are taxiing round to uh, the airport. This is the part I'm a bit anxious about later, how long the taxiing of the plane is going to take. Ah, and Aaron has pointed out to me uh, that this, as soon as I reconnect it to my phone, is going to update and it's going to be local time of 10.12 because Amsterdam is an hour ahead, which is one of the factors that should make today possible. Okay, so we have gone through arrivals. There was a bit of a queue uh, for passport control, but there shouldn't be when we get back to the UK. And we can do the queue this side because we have plenty of time this morning. That's the thing. It's like 11 a.m. now local time. The matinee is at two. So plenty of time here. Hopefully that's the only passport control queue we're going to have to do today. It's a bit easier in the UK because they should have the biometric scanners and um, when you're coming to your own country, it's a lot quicker anyhow. Exactly. It's just welcoming you. That's another of the reasons we've done it this way round. Yeah. I will explain more about the planning of it when we get the chance, probably when we're off this train. Um, but we've gone straight onto a train yep. 
with like perfect timing. This is the kind of luck we're hoping for later. Honestly, this is kind of wasted on us now, but maybe think, maybe the six gods are smiling on us. Yeah, I think it's funny, but actually the London, we've never been to, I, we can say in advance, we've never been to London City Airport before. No, that, so is, is, that is one of the concerns, is that we don't know We don't know the that airport. airport, and we're coming in via, in DLR land. Yeah, we chose that flight, again, I'll talk more about the details, but we chose that flight because the timings worked and the train network can go down in the UK. I do not trust the trains to be running. Um, and so uh, Heathrow, you have more options because you have like the Elizabeth Line with you. But you Gatwick, have the expresses. Yeah, but again, if the line is but, down, yeah. if the train lines are down, Gatwick is no good to you. So it became like Heathrow or City. And City, if like everything goes down, you can always get a taxi. Yeah. Because it's in the city, yeah. whereas the others are a little bit further out. They're not actually in London. They're like in Greater London, really. But for now, we've done the first part. We have arrived and successfully entered the country. So <laughs> we did get asked at Border Control, like what we were here for and how long we were staying. And we did like, we're here for a day and we're seeing six. I did not elaborate that like, we're leaving in a matter of hours no. to go and do the same activity back in London. Because that would have just, that's just needlessly confusing. Using. But it's kind of nice, so we're going to the cent we're going to Amsterdam Central, which is not close to the theatre. Mm. Close it's a walking distance, but it means that we'll get to actually experience yeah. the city. Yeah. And heading off the train at 11.08. All going well so far. And just like that, step two is done. We have flown to Amsterdam. We have taken the train into Amsterdam Central Station. And now we have the calm part of the day, where we are just chilling. It is currently local time 11.15. The show is at 2 p.m. So we are making a leisurely journey over towards the Delamar Theatre, gonna go get some lunch, gonna fuel up, conserve our energy. This is, this is the easy part, this is the calm part. Exactly. We want to make sure that we enjoy our first visit to Amsterdam and it doesn't feel like a blur. Also that, also that, because as soon as we see the show, everything thereafter is going to be pretty manic. So, as promised, let's explain what we're doing here and why we're doing this. So, a couple months ago, you introduced me to the YouTube channel All Ears, yeah. who do a lot of challenge-based videos, mostly in Disney World. And there was one in particular that I was so amazed by where they went to all six US Disney parks in one day. That means they went to all four in Disney World and then they flew from Disney World Florida to Disneyland California to go do those two parks at the yeah. end of the day as well. And at that point we started thinking, can we do challenge videos like these in the West End? Recently we've been doing some on the underground yeah. and in London. But at the same time I was thinking, is there anything we could do internationally and immediately I thought, could you do a two-show day? Pretty quickly I worked out the answer was no, except under a very specific set of circumstances. That's in a very limited amount of time that is possible. Pretty much only like this one day and maybe another Sunday next week is this even gonna be feasible, I yeah. think. So like I mentioned, there are a lot of factors that make this only possible under these circumstances. So even though Amsterdam is a really short flight from the UK, they are in a different time zone. They're one hour ahead, which means if you start your two-show day here in Amsterdam and then fly back to the UK, you get an extra hour in between shows. Yeah. The other thing that makes this doable is we're seeing six. And six is a really short show. Yeah. It's not a two act, it's only like 80 minutes yeah. long. So then that gives us a little bit more time as well. Also, the Amsterdam um, dates for six, the UK tour while it's here, the UK slash international tour, is doing a 2 p.m. matinee. Now they don't do that in London. No. The fact they're doing an earlier matinee and then we can go and see a 7 p.m. again, makes it just about doable. Another of the factors that makes this feasible, the airports that we're going to today are both pretty close to the theaters. In most major cities, the airport is not that close to where the theater is gonna be. Somewhere like Paris, somewhere like New York, if you were trying to do this, you'd have to factor in the time it would take you to get to JFK. Like, I challenge anyone to tell me another two countries where you could see, not even the same show necessarily, but where you could do an international two-show day. Maybe the US and Canada? I don't know. Comment down below if you can think of another example. But when I saw that six were going to be here in Amsterdam, I thought this may be the only chance. So, 
here we are. We reached out to six. They were excited about the idea as well and kindly enough gave us tickets in both cities and hopefully we're going to make it to both shows. We will see what happens because even though I've just told you why it's feasible and I'll tell you the timing specifically that should work, there's a lot that could go wrong. Okay, so we've gone for lunch. Uh, the time is... 12.29, the show is at 2, getting Croc Madames. Um, this isn't particularly relevant to this video as a challenge video, other than the fact that if things go badly wrong later, who knows if we will actually get to eat after this. So, hearty lunch is a good idea. Heading towards the theatre now uh, to go and do all the stuff surrounding the first show and go and see the show on that Disney vlog I was telling you about where they went to all the different parks. I think they just had to like go into the park and like get a map and take a photo in front of an iconic landmark. Obviously when we're doing this with shows, our task is just to see the show. I don't yeah. think we need to really explain the rules here. Yeah, it's pretty, just get a photo. pretty self-explanatory. Um, it being a one act show, there's no like opportunity to miss the first act and then come in late. Yeah. We have to be on time for both shows and see the whole show. Obviously there is no leaving early. We're not gonna do that, that's not our style. Um, and it's six, so we love the show. We wanna see the whole thing. Yeah. So in the All Ears videos, they usually have a punishment if they can't complete the challenge. And we are at the Torture Museum, so can take inspiration herein. I am in the market for backup options on how we can speedily get to the airport after the show. And I'm gonna go ahead and rule out this boat. Looks very idyllic. It is not fast. The armies of bicycles, however, and mopeds, do pack some serious speed. Why do I have visions of us like Lizzie McGuiring it on our way to the airport later yeah. in some chaos? Is it Lizzie McGuire with the moped? Yes. Was that an accurate yes. reference? Good for me. Good for me. It is 1.22. We have taken photos on the purple carpet and in front of a uh, big poster over there. This is the last time you will see us looking calm because we're going to go in and see the show and then after that it becomes a mad rush to get back to the airport, uh, get to the Vaudeville Theatre and go and see the West End production tonight at 7 o'clock. Um, so local time here, 1.22, um, UK time, 12.22 to give you a sense of how much time we have left. Thus far everything is still fine but we don't really know until we start travelling back what that's going to look like. For now we're going to go and see Six and try to enjoy this without worrying too much about breaking into a run right afterwards. Also the other thing we're going to do now is we're going to look and see if we can book an Uber for when the show is going to end. I've seen this show enough times to know that it comes down at around 75 to 80 minutes uh, so if we book one for around 3.25 ish that should be a good time. I don't know where, maybe we'll check with the box office to see where a good pickup spot is if they can even do one round here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're in the theatre, we're enjoying all of the sick stuff. If you want to see what it's like in here, that's not in this vlog, that's going to be in last week's vlog, where it's just about us coming here to see the show before I revealed what the challenge was, so you can go and check all of that out. But I'm telling you that we have just booked our Uber back to the airport for after the show. Uh, now they don't pick up from the Delamar Theatre, uh, so we're going to meet them at the Hard Rock Hotel, which is around the corner, um, and that's going to take 25 minutes, they're anticipating. It could take less if traffic is good. Public transport would take minimum 31 and I think it would take us a little bit longer to suss it out and work out how to pay for it and all that stuff so I'm going with the Uber to just get us from door to door reliably. Okay, we're in, we are in our seats. Thank you so much to the team at Six for giving us, I didn't specify I wanted like an aisle but we're just off the horizontal aisle and on the side aisle. We can make a quick getaway here. That's perfect for us. Um, and in all of the stress of like the logistics of today, I, a part of me forgot that we were seeing six. Like I, I knew we were, but I didn't really drink that in. So I'm very excited now. The time is 1.49. The show will be beginning in about 10 minutes.
Okay, so finished. Bolted it out, legged it in front of everyone else um, in a minimally disruptive way, and now going to meet our pre booked Uber, which uh, we think is this way. Yeah, 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 it's this way. We just had a call from him, he's already here. We have like a five minute grace period, and we've said we're on our way, but we need to get to the airport to go see six again in a different country. Are you ready? I'm some airport. Here we go. Okay, I can see it walking up to the taxi now. We may have gone the wrong way around the block, but made it. Okay, we are at the, are we in the right one? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I think so. We're at the airport. We're at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. It's 3.48. The show came down after 3.20. Shout out to that Uber driver. He made great time. Um, we're not 100% we're in the right departures. There's three to choose from. We want KLM. Um, look for the 5.15 flight. 5.15 London City, not New York JFK, if only. Uh, 12.13 D6. Gate D6. London City. So... Where do we go for that? Does that mean we're in the right, if it's on this board, so that means we're in the right yeah. terminal? I think so. I think so too. Um, gate D, six gates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all gates, this way. Okay, so, um, flight is in about an hour and 25, which should be fine, should be fine. Uh, that gives us plenty of time to get through security. Hopefully it's quiet. This way? Um, yeah, yeah, that way. Not to five minutes. Does it say not to five minutes? It says it there. Security zero to five minutes. Love that if it's accurate. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, can we not get through this way? Uh, what's happening? I'm going to go down through and... Okay, okay. I think we're struggling to find how to get to security. Yeah, yeah, we have to go <laughs> down and then up. Security is not well signposted in this airport, but if it is really zero to five minutes, then we should be fine. Okay, we eventually, we, we were trying to go on the wrong side, found the right side, and my God, if Amsterdam airport does not have the best security I have ever been through, like the technology, the, the design looked stunning, lovely vibes, very quiet, genuinely took us like two minutes, mm -hmm. and now we have plenty of time. You don't have to take anything out of your bag. You don't have to take. You don't have to take the liquids out. You don't have to take the electronics out. Aaron's got pulled for like what we assume is a random scanning or just like something. They looked. Yeah. They were happy with everything, and then they gave it back to you. Um, and then you scan your passport afterwards, which is unusual. But um, it felt like, if anything, slightly higher security measures, and it took less time. How does that work? But amazed, amazed, and awestruck. But. Danny was right. Danny was right. Shout out to Danny with the camera, yeah. who gave us specific Dutch advice for this challenge. Um, so yeah, that's one element of this that's just been like needlessly, yeah. needlessly worried. We probably could have taken public transport here and still been fine. But now it means we have plenty of time before we even start boarding. And hopefully we can get Dutch McDonald's yeah. because they do gluten free, specifically gluten free buns for their burgers. Normally yeah. Aaron has to have a burger salad with no bun. I'm hoping that still works in the Oh, there's a McDonald's over there, but is it behind bars? No, I think that's just the that's just the walls. Okay. Oh, they have screens. That's Yay. just the aesthetic. They do. They have screens. That's good. They that's do. Always good for a gluten-free person. There you go. We're gonna go get McDonald's, everybody. We've come to Amsterdam to get McDonald's and see a show that not only we can see in our own country, but we will the very same day. Maybe we should get McDonald's after that as well. Compare and contrast. I mean, to be fair, we might be hungry after the show. Maybe we, we will. Had quite. Maybe we will. And you know what? You might. know what's on the strand near the Vaudeville? McDonald's. McDonald's. Just everything we do in Amsterdam, we must also do in London. <laughs> oh, if you can't tell, I'm quite chipper because oh. it's going well. Our flight's on time as well. I've been trying to forecast future problems. Like we were very, we were, we've been a bit stressed today that things could go wrong. But so far, touch wood. Oh no, I'm in an airport. There's no wood. There's wood right in front of you. There's wood. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <sighs> Everything's going fine. So. In the airport, heading towards McDonald's, um, but it's not even quarter past four yet. Our flight is at quarter past five local time. Boarding is at 4.45. We are so fine for time. Low-key obsessed with this table that is also tulips. Love that. 
Okay, Mac update. Sadly, everything at this particular Mac establishment um, still contains Mac gluten. Well, not everything, but uh, the buns do. So no gluten-free bun for Aaron. Um, so McDonald's burger salad. It is because we couldn't find anything else that was going to be like a nice quick turnaround that was gluten-free um, with beverage. And always interesting to see the little things that they do differently. Speaking of which, I have a honey mustard muck wrap. That's different. That's not a not a UK known thing. So that's fun and interesting. Enjoyed our McDonald's so much. <laughs> Forgot that we were boarding. Um, so boarding started five minutes ago. And the plane is in 25. And there's a child at the bottom of this escalator trying to come up it. The <coughs> child has left. We're gonna go get on a plane now. <laughs> okay. After some momentary panic that they might be about to close the gate, um, we have checked in and there are not many people. I feel like there's no one on this plane. I feel like this is a very quiet plane. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Did I probably not need to pay for like the upfront like priority to leave the plane seats? Probably not. But that's fine. You live, you learn. Uh, as Alan as Morissette said, we're gonna get on the plane now. We're on a little bus to the plane. I've never been on a bus to the plane. I've been on a bus off of the plane many times. The first time I went to Florida, you had to get a bus all the way to the plane because it was so big. Oh. Also, where's the light? I've been a very brave boy today. Aaron, tell them why. You've been a brave boy. I have. You have it. Well, I've gone it. through so many of uh, the things I'm terrified of. Oh yes, how many revolving doors? I have an irrational, what is my hair doing? My goodness. I have something of an irrational fear of the revolving door as a concept. And so many of them in Amsterdam, they love a revolving door. Love a revolving door. Mm -hmm. My goodness. I've been very brave. Time check. We're at 4.57. Uh, flight should hopefully de be departing at 5.15. Now we want this to go on time, early if possible, um, to give us more room on the other end to get to the Vaudeville Theatre in the West End. And here it is. This is the lovely blue KLM City Hopper that will be taking us back to London, hours after we left. Okay, we have made such good time. We've just been told we should be landing in about 15 minutes, which will bring us back to London 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Truly, the musical theatre gods, wherever they may be, are smiling on us today. We can just about see land somewhere. Oh, no, I've lost it. It's over there. So, while I have you here in the sky, this is just something I feel personally strongly about for no reason whatsoever. But look! How long South End Pier is. You can't even see the end. It's so, look how tiny those buildings are. That is such a long pier. There's nothing at the end. Nothing at the end. There's like a cafe. You can get a little train down to the end of that pier. Boats keep hitting it because it has no business being that far out to sea. Why is it that long? Someone tell me why South End Pier is so long. Too long. Nonsense. We are on the ground, and it is... Yeah. Turn on, turn on, turn on, press the, press the button, press the button, there we go. It is uh, 6.06, but that hasn't changed to local time. Local time, 5.06, giving us almost two hours to get to the Vaudeville. This is great. Okay, we're off the plane. We're in London, literally in London, amidst the Thames. We saw the Thames as we landed. It's a bit scary because you're right, like literally landing yeah. nearly on the Thames. Neither of us have had any kind of dalliance with London City Airport before. Um, worth saying, paid a little bit more to get the seats at the front of the plane for speedier exiting because we didn't know what timings would be like. But We're I, here early. I, I think, I think we might be fine. Again, touch. There's no wood for me to touch. Ah. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's his phone. I, I, we might be okay. This might just be quite comfortable. And just like that, we have legally re-entered the country. And any fears I had about it taking a long time to exit London City Airport are unfounded because already we are at the DLR. It's so, the same place. Yeah, I didn't think we were even landing until 5.20. It's already 5.17. We did like plane to DLR in eight minutes, I think which is super handy. 
We're back in a UK currency. We're back in a UK time zone. And we're going to see a show. I had visions of us like racing across London I at the end of this either. onto the tube and like only just making the show and having to leg it in. And we're still not there yet. So maybe I shouldn't be so confident, but I don't think that's going to have to happen. There's a DLR in two minutes. So this should be a 45 minute journey and it's 5.18. So we might get there a full hour early at this point. At this point, we're going to be almost too early to the vaudeville. Coming past the O2, big concert venue, also home to Mamma Mia the party for curious ABBA fans. Oh, now it's gone. So we're at West Ham. This is one of the stations we could have changed at for the district line to get to uh, Charing Cross. Uh, but as it happens, because we have time, we're going to stay until Stratford and change for the Elizabeth line because it's more comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Time to change for the Elizabeth line. Plot twist. We ended up on the central line because it arrived before the Elizabeth line. So we're going to go to Holborn instead and walk from there because we think that's a little bit closer to the vaudeville. We got plenty of time. And here we are. We have arrived. It's like a flashback to our, our first challenge, the London Underground one, looking for show posters. And as it happens, I cannot see any. This is in the theatre district. Where are the show posters at? Well, having started our day in Birmingham, <laughs> we've made it to the West End. We yeah, just took yeah, a slightly strange route to get there. I forget that, like, we didn't even start this in London. Well, I feel like we've got an achievement, like when you're playing video games, called Commute to London uh, without getting on an overground train. <laughs> yeah. Without getting on, like, National Rail. Um, you could also just take a coach to do that, but uh, yeah, Birmingham to Amsterdam to London and we're being very cavalier. I, at no point today did I picture us strolling down, taking the scenic route to the vaudeville because we had that much time to play with, but that's the way it's worked out for us. Are we celebrating too soon? I mean, I don't know what could go wrong. I'm not going to tempt fate. No. Maybe I just did. So, meant to say earlier, um, the flights we came back on were with KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, big Dutch airline. We saw like dozens of their blue planes at Amsterdam yeah. Airport. Um, and those flights were more expensive than the ones going out. They were about six times the price. I think, um, but we didn't really have the comfort of flexibility because there was only really that one time that would have worked. Having said that, I'm now wondering, like, because I thought it was going to be down to the wire. I thought for sure something was going to happen uh, that was going to, like, the plane could so easily have just, like, been delayed. We could have missed our initial flight slot. We could have landed at a further away part of the airport and had to taxi around for a bit. I had to wait for a bus to transport us over to the airport. But as it happened, none of those things happened and we made it. So now I'm naturally wondering, could we do something even more challenging? Could we do like a further away country? Could we do a longer show? If you were coming to like a later show in London, a 7.30 or an eight o'clock performance, that would give you even more wiggle room to play with. I don't know. I'd be intrigued if you could watch a show in Paris and then get to London. I, I initially, I more challenges before way. today, I didn't think Paris to London was doable. And now I'm thinking maybe it is. And here it is, like a beacon, like a, like a, one of those green watery bits in the desert, oasis, that's the word. It is six at the Vaudeville Theatre where it currently rains in the West End. And even though I was singing the praises of its temporary Amsterdam home earlier today, there really is no place like home. There's no place like home. And it is so nice to be back at the Vaudeville getting ready to go see the show. It's been a little while. So while we're here, may as well do a little compare contrast. We're queuing to get into the vaudeville right now because they haven't opened the house. That's how That's early crazy. we are. We thought we'd be running in. We didn't know if we were going to make it. We were like, do we need to tell someone because they might need to take our tickets because we don't want there to be empty seats. 
And now we're literally here before the house has opened. Madness, utter madness. Thank you flights for all running early. Thank all you the flights. weather. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, thank was, you everyone involved. There's so many factors that this could have actually gone completely We wrong. keep saying it, but it really could. Like, if one flight had been delayed or taxied, yeah. that would have been four, that would have been like 40 minutes. What's hilarious is I'm now looking up at planes passing in the sky and I'm like, the time is 6.18 and the line has started moving and I'll give it to the Vaudeville. One thing the Delamar does not have, glittery backdrop. I do like... I love the sequence. I do like the sequin six. To compare with earlier's sold out sign, we have Houseful, which ironically is less English than the one we saw in the Netherlands. And we have more photos of the cast members on the sides. Fun times. This is what six looks like in London. Inside the foyer in London, we've got a little teaser of some of the merchandise. I'll show you the rest upstairs in the bar, as it says. And then much like at the Delamar, we do have a little Prosecco, little treat station over here. You get half price ice cream with every 20 centiliter bottle of Prosecco. Look at that. So this is the cast today in London, a slightly smaller board. And we have three alternates going on. So Monique Ash Palmer, who I've seen as Aragon before. I think we saw her first Aragon. Now we're seeing one of her last. Uh, Bailey and Claudia and Dion, and then Esme and Leah as alternates as well. This is by the box office in the stalls, and there's a selection of merchandise. Again, more available upstairs. So this is my favorite part of Six here at the Vaudeville, is this very cool merchandise kiosk up here. Uh, they do also have a display wall. Um, the bar queue is right next to it, so good luck getting a photo there. And ironically, as <laughs> sponsored by American Airlines, one of the few airlines we haven't traveled on today. Um, but you can see, it's basically the same merchandise I showed you earlier. I think perhaps there might be a couple of different t-shirt designs, but maybe not even that. So again, for comparison, this is what the Vaudeville Auditorium looks like. The Vaudeville has three levels, much more of a historic theater. We have some boxes as well, and that is the ceiling up there, and everything is bathed in a sort of a purple hue. Different program artwork, interestingly enough also grabbed this because I saw it earlier and I just saw it again in the vaudeville and I was like you know what I like that I like a necklace and also hilariously Aaron didn't hear me earlier when I asked him if he could grab me some socks as well so grabbed me some socks yay for six socks see I told you everything was bathed in a purple hue yes. what I've just realized I paid no attention to the comparative prices of the merch mm. socks may have been cheaper in Amsterdam, oh. given the currency conversion. Oh, true. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to retroactively go back, look at my footage, extrapolate the price, uh, convert it, and work it out. There you go. Find out. That's a GCSE maths problem right there. And once again, here's the view you and I have both been waiting for. This is the Vaudeville Theatre stage in the West End. We are nice and close. We're in row D of the stalls. Thank you to Six for these great tickets. We're in the middle of the row this time. We don't need a quick and easy escape. So they've been very considerate with these seat allocations or it was a happy coincidence. Um, if you're thinking the stage looks bigger, it's just because I'm closer. If you're thinking it looks a bit smaller, you're probably correct. Now, if any part of me was hoping for a dramatic video with this one, we, we have 25 minutes before the show starts. We're here, if anything, too early. Honestly, this has gone far too well, but we're thrilled about that. Once again, we have had the six minute announcement uh, from uh, one of the queens. The show's gonna be starting soon. We've done it, it's happened. We've made it to the same show twice in one day in two different countries. Challenge completed and we get the best treat for winning, which is we get to watch six again. Yay!
Well, we did it, Joe. We did it. We, did it. we saw a show. No, <laughs> we saw two shows in one day in two countries, and it was the same show. We completed the challenge. Nobody asked us to do, nope. and we survived it. Yep. Uh, and we had a great time. Yeah, it was we had a great time. We saw one of I our favourite shows. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. We've spent so much time in the air today at different altitudes, in different time zones. My perception of reality is waning. But we've had a great time. And I was going to say the like overwhelmingly positive reaction that you've seen on both of those Curtain Call Mega 6 clips shows what a great show yeah. this is to audiences of all nationalities, <laughs> of all um, Northern European backgrounds at least. More research pending um, into the other ones. But yeah, had a great time. Yay us. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I would say let us know what other kind of similar challenge uh, you want to see us do next, but I don't know if anything else like this is even possible. Weigh in down yeah. below if you, you ever think. Have you done a, an interesting time double show day? Yeah, yeah. Maybe like within the UK. Honestly, I think that might even be harder to do like a two show day across the UK. I think like an early matinee, but I can't see how you could do like traditional matinee evening. No, no. In two different countries, uh, even like from Wales to England or from England to Scotland. I struggle to imagine that being <clears throat> feasible, but we're imaginative people. Um, and I don't know that people would have thought this was possible. And today we have proved not only, not only you can do it, but pretty comfortably, pretty uh, easily, uh, if everything goes right. If everything goes right, it's surprisingly comfortable. Like, there's a lot on the line, but if ever, my god, oh, that garlic's bad. Oh, that was the garlic bread. Wow. Do we go? No, we don't. We are heading home. But oh, good. we've had a busy day. There was something else I can say. Oh, if you haven't already watched our first two challenge videos with Ellie Talks Theatre, go and check those out now. Watch us ride around on the underground and try and find as many show posters as possible. Watch us run around the West End and try and visit as many theatres as possible. And stay tuned for our Broadway adventures. Maybe we'll do a challenge in New York if we can um, make one happen. As you're seeing this video, hopefully we're there right now if something hasn't gone wrong, if we haven't used up all of our good flight luck on today. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well as to Aaron James over here. And go see Six in yeah. a country near you, wherever that may be. Oh, it's a show that brings a lot of joy. It does, it does. And I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a, a stagey day. day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe!